Uh, I'd also like to welcome uh, a certain trustee we haven't seen in a few months. Few weeks, Andrew touches of, such uh, various escapades in Las Vegas. And Andrew, oh my God! Oh my God! You look horrible. You look like you're dying. <laughs> you really do. Good evening, almost everyone. Everyone except for I love this one. Um, I'm going to name freak. them: Trustee Holmes, Dan Brown, William Moore, Chief Lacey. All right, next is public comment. You have three minutes to address the body, and I just want to give you the rules. Please be respectable. Please be quiet. Yo, what is up with this gold mic? Oh, sister, I'm in the front. Of sister got this gold mic. She ain't got one Grammy, okay? Somebody let me know what's up with the gold mic. Like, why does she get one? What makes you special, huh? Mayor? Super mayor? When people are speaking so we can hear uh, whatever they want to talk about. And um, if you are disrupted during a meeting, you will be removed. You cannot disrupt a meeting, guys. We're here to conduct business. So thank you so much for listening. All right, go ahead. Who's your first person for public comment? Uh, Lacey, you keeping the time? Time? Okay, timer. Mm, got the police keeping the time. That ain't his job. She making, she making Lacey watch the time. Like, yeah. Oh, do boy. He a do boy ass nigga. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let her talk. Turn go the ahead. mic on. Go ahead. You have three minutes. Go Mr. ahead. Mr. Gunn, go ahead. Y'all forgot to turn the mic on. No, you just got to push the button. No, I don't push the button. There you go. This shit ought to be working. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Thanks. Good evening. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Before we get started, I'd like to say this to everyone in the room. Let's have some decorum. Let's be cool. Don't give them a reason to stop the meeting. Just keep that in your mind. Number one, um, I don't know. Where do I start? This is another sham. We all know it. So we got to deal with it accordingly. We have to be on one accord. I'm not speaking to the board. I'm not speaking to the people on the dais. I'm speaking to the residents. We're tired. Am I right? Then we've got to act like we're tired. We've got to take our village and our township back in that order. And we've got to get rid of the administration, the current administration, minus the people's trustees that are fighting for us. We've got to back them up. All mm -hmm. of this talking in the grocery store lines and on the phone with each other, whatever you have to say tonight, say it. We deserve it. It is our village, this is our building. We can't park in the parking lot. That's like Pete's or Mariano shutting down the parking lot. This is our village. And these things are only gonna continue as long as we allow them. If I can't say anything else, I wish I wore my shirt tonight. Cause Delgado unassed that seat. Have mm. a good evening. <laughs> unassed that seat, she ain't lying, man. What it do every day, people? It's your boy PJ. I'ma give y'all my whole spiel later, but man, let's talk about it, man. Hey, it's right. Y'all gotta take back y'all spot. Y'all gotta take back y'all city. If y'all don't, y'all gonna be in a world of trouble, okay? Like, sometimes it takes more than just sitting there talking. It's smoking, blowing smoke up people's arse all the time. You got to actually put some foot, feet on the ground. You got to put some people in place, okay? Because I ain't saying overthrow the city. All I'm saying is, you know, at some point they had to budge when, when people get to marching, when people get to uh, throwing and destroying stuff. Stuff start. I don't want you to destroy your city, but I'm saying, if you really want it, call the next person. Ooh, that wig look nice, don't it? Good evening, residents. Good 
Good evening. Good evening, my four fantastic trustees and Madam Clerk and my play. residents. Thank you all for coming out and showing out. This question is for the trustees, and I know you can answer it if you like. Do you ever are allowed to, are the trustees ever allowed to put anything on the agenda? Nope. They can't nope. put nothing on it. And I would like to know why, because they are entitled to put things on the agenda. As a former trustee, that's unheard of for them not being allowed to put anything on the agenda. Because it's a Tiffany my next show. Question it's is, the Tiffany show. I saw it with my own eyes. Keith Price pulling into the parking lot uh, and the residents couldn't park. In oh, no, don't the police officer got her French roll. Shout out to the police officers keeping it funky. Okay, she said, I've been on TikTok lately and I see all the Frenchies. In there, and this is our building. I have a problem with that. This is for the mayor. Per our last conversation at Dunkin' Donuts, you asked me, could you talk to me? I allowed you to talk to me. And Madam Clerk, I want it on record today that Tiffany Henyard can never, ever, as long as she stay black, approach <laughs> me and ask, can she talk to me? Because all she do is lie. And you know what I'm talking about. Tell us what she's talking about. As long as she black. <laughs> and I would like to know why you have non-employees that does not work for the village sitting behind the counter where all the residents' personal information is. Yeah, Why I've seen that. are they allowed to sit back there again? Because this is not the first time. Thank you. Mm. All right, next person. I'm going to tell you why. Because they pay. They pay to play, okay? Or they getting paid to play, okay? Mm -hmm. stop. Good evening. It's looking a little light up there with all the department heads. Is that the little mm. financial lady? She didn't ran. But again, I think it's so horrible that this mayor Look, the police will use her police department to block all the parking spaces so the elderly and the handicapped people have to walk a block to get to this meeting. That's disgusting. Oh, my God. I'm sure you're proud of yourself, Tiffany. You're very proud. I just think... You can end, I know, you can end this if you would just be transparent. All the facts is out about you. Everybody knows everything about you, what you've done. And for some of you trustees is riding, uh, Mr. Stan riding a bike, you're going to ride it all the way to the federal penitentiary with this woman. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're too old to be going to jail, man. You got more years in back of you than in front of you. But, you know, hey, that's what you want to do. And Andrew, oh my God. Oh my God. You look horrible. You look like you're dying. <laughs> you really do. But like I said, even the lawyers that sit up with up there with you, they're not telling you the right thing. Why Andrew touch and such look like he is sickly? Sickly, okay. I understand you're old man, you're getting older. Um, uh, but these last two months have taken a toll on you. Is that the reason why he took that break? Because, yep, you know it, he is uh he coming down with that something. Something. He had to take a medical leave because he got paid for it. And that's awful. Are you willing to lose your license by not telling this woman the correct thing to do up there? Did you tell her it was okay to block the, the parking lots off from the citizens? And you're a lawyer? That's crazy. Y'all going to lose y'all uh, license doing that type of stuff. They're going to get disbarred. We need transparency. Correction. We want to know where our money is at. We need that. And the scary thing about it, you really don't care. You're not going to understand until they put those cuffs on you. 
You're not going to understand it. You don't care. But baby, they on to you. It's coming. It's coming and they taking their time because they're going to make sure all those counts, they're going to have a bunch of counts on you and your administration. And I'm going to tell you something, Stan Brown and Andrew Holmes, co-conspirators, being a co-conspirator is real. You can do some time too getting caught up in this mess. And you are. And I think the only reason why a lot of you all are just so on her team so hard because you've done something. You've taken money. You've done something. Call them so, out. Again, keep riding a bike because you're going straight to the federal penitentiary, Mr. Stan Brown. And Andrew Holmes, you already know where you're going. Ooh, you done. You wait. done. Thank you, everybody. I love when they call out touch and such. Touch and such, you going to jail. You going to jail and then you going to the feds right after it. You ain't going to make it back home. Good evening, almost everyone. Everyone except for I love this one. Um, I'm she gonna name freak. them: Trusty Holmes, Dan Brown, William Moore, Chief Lacey. Um, let me start by saying, Tiffany, you need an epiphany, and I'm gonna break that down because I know you don't know what it means. But what what I mean by that? A lot of people, Quiet. when they do things, even myself, sometimes you. you when you're going through the motions, you don't really understand the depth of what you're doing or maybe how wrong it is. But when you have that epiphany, then you, you say to yourself, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or maybe I should have done this. Or maybe I should have said that. Mm -hmm. You don't do that. You double down on wrongness. And I don't understand that. You have a team of elitists, well, four, in front of, on your board, on your board of trustees, me and any normal human being would be trying to learn everything that they can. You have experts in their field on your board and you deny them the opportunity to ap apply their expertise. But at the same time, even at the township meeting, you want to double down on, on um, Robert Hunt's ability. He's a CPA, but he's also helping you hide your financial crimes, which is something that Jason House, trustee Jason House, senior trustee Jason House, and trustee Kiana Belcher will not do. And that's why you give them such slack. It's a shame that Kiana Belcher, trustee Kiana Belcher's picture is still in front of her. Nice. I mean, come on, Tiffany, grow up. I mean, for real, you know, you always say, I grew here. Yeah, I flew here. But the difference is, I knew it. they were raised, <laughs> not just brought up. Some, some people are just brought up. Okay, and there's a big difference in being raised and being brought up. And if you were raised correctly, you wouldn't speak to your elders, your colleagues, your fellow administration, the way that you do. It almost brings me right. to tears sometimes the way you talk to, to Clerk Key, and she's excellent at what she does. You need to be learning from her instead of trying to strip her responsibilities. And I know that I'm resonating because every time someone resonates, you look away. So I know that I'm doing that. But let me also say before I run out of time. Okay. I'm looking at the clock. Lori, uh, former Mayor Lori Lightwood, please look into Chief Lacey because what he did with Jedediah Brown and that lie he told in that false police mm. report, which her cronies co-signed. And not only, let me just add this because I, I, this was priceless. It was said, her crony was like, yeah, uh, we was trying to sneak Doritos into the movie theater. And uh, don't y'all make six figures? Both of you, what are you doing sneaking Doritos into the movie theater? Make it make sense. I mean, for real, that, that's just ridiculous. But please. Ma'am, your time is up. Okay. I know you're going to be mad. Time is up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Next Let, okay. Next if you don't calm down, I'm going to. Oh, they cut the mic. They okay, cut the mic. They know how to cut the mic. They know how to cut the mic. They cut it right when she was going to continue to go off on Stanky Lacey. Okay. I'm calling Stacy Lacey. I'm calling him something. Because he act like a diva. Stacy Lacey, the diva. So he's sneaking the radios in. Reset the clock, please. Yeah, reset the clock. I'm trying to cheat. All right. 
greetings to all the uh, law-abiding citizens. They ain't gonna talk slow. Who just happen to be su uh, surrounded by the police force for reasons that we haven't been able to figure out. Uh, I'd also like to welcome uh, a certain trustee we haven't seen in a few months. Few Andrew months, actually, touches of, uh, such various escapades in Las Vegas. And I'd also like to return all the sneers and the derision that nearly everyone has come up to this podium to discuss uh, village business has received from the mayor, from the village administrator, from the million dollar lawyer who's not here today, I guess, mm. and for our lying police chief. I say that because I was actually escorted from the building a few months ago from him. He said, we were gonna talk about it outside. And in typical lying fashion, he locked the door behind me. Which is that's old Stacy Lacy, the diva. Okay, Stacy Lacy being that. Clear that room. Clear that room. It's Pride Month. Clear that room. <laughs> this is why a lot of people know you're a liar. A lot of people, a lot of you, that whole group up there on that upper podium, with a couple of exceptions, are basically liars. Uh, we have. A situation that this never would this never would have happened had had uh, they responded to us when she first came into office we would go up there and respectfully ask questions and she would ignore us or they would ignore us they would not do that in highland park and and where our village administrator comes from out there in wherever in Orland park and places like that this would never happen but we get treated like dirt because they think they can get away with it I, that was interesting. Anyway, getting back to it, we didn't have to be here. Everything knows, uh, every subpoena that was issued, every subpoena that was issued are things that we, the citizens, have asked for for years now. The trustees have asked for them. The clerk has asked for assistance in providing this, these services to us, but they were blocked at every turn from those worthless, inept individuals that sit in judgment of the rest of us. And this is not the way it's supposed to be. Now, you can sit there and look at your little paper or whatever, but you know they're coming for you. She ain't I'm paying attention, to yeah. to it. I am definitely looking forward to that. So I'm going to use all my money. And at least uh, we now we have an audio system. I saw what they did in uh, uh, Thornton Township. Only one person gets a working microphone, really a golden microphone. How much narcissism can you stand? Jeez. And if the shoe fits, lip into the red bottom slippers and prance off into the sunset because we have had enough of you and your administration mm. and i have 12 seconds left and i'm using every damn one of them every one of nine eight this seven is petty. six oh gee is petty five, four three two one thank you all right uh now i don't know if y'all can see the police who's behind me they are uh, doing a lot of this and that but i wonder i wonder are they there for the check like they have they need to have a job and they gonna fulfill it or are they there um with tiffany or supporting the the police chief stacy lacy the diva are they supporting him and following suit because if you there as because the way they looking like i wonder how would you just go home how do you go home at night seeing all this corruption and then not even like feeling some type of way as a police officer what do they call y'all uh, something to the people whatever whatever they call y'all officer of the law officer of the courts get something but the thing is you have a duty to the people and and if you may you may be a citizen of the township or a citizen of dalton if you're not i can see why you wouldn't care if you're not a citizen of dalton but if you are a citizen of dalton and you see what's going on what's happening with the people these are your people these are the people you grew up with if you grew here and you didn't flew here these are your people so how could you turn your back on your people? And that's what I think a lot of this is happening is because they have people who are not from Dalton, 
Andrew Holmes, Andrew Touch and Such Holmes, not from Dalton. Stan Brown, don't live in Dalton. Um, Tiffany Henyard, uh the other lady questioned, where would you, where'd you grow up at? Where'd you go to school at? Because nobody knows you. You know, was she homeschooled or something? Please tell me, because she ain't said, I went to this high school. She showed us every video, but where she went to high school at, where she, where she scraped her knee on the curb when she was a kid learning to ride her bike. She showed all that. So, we're going to see. We're going to see. But I still think these police, I'm wondering what's going on in their mind when everything that's happening to their people in their city, how they actually feel. Because she don't, the, the look on her face this entire meeting, the look on her face shows, like, I don't even want to be here. She do not want to be here at all. Welcome. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Vivian. Um, just wanted to Shout say to a Vivian. little speech because I know that Tiffany doesn't listen anyway. So I know she's listening or she'll watch this. May 31st, I learned just how much corrupt corruption existed in um, Thornton Township. I went to the meeting. It was supposed to be a big resource for everybody. However, out of the 17 municipalities, nobody received what they're supposed to get fairly. Um, we were infiltrated and almost drained by the mayor, supervisor, unqualified, Tiffany Hingard. And I'm just saying, as a taxpayer, I was asked to leave the public meeting. My First Amendment rights was violated because I asked a question for clarification for something that was in a budget that we, the taxpayers, did not approve. Um, violating my First Amendment rights was not right, Tiffany, but I know how you are. I know you don't care. Um, it's just sad that people can only do public comment for three minutes. We can never, ever get answers to our questions. So it don't matter how many questions that we ask you, you never, ever answer the questions. So this is why we have to educate ourselves. That's your word, right? Educate yourself. Educate well, this is why we have to educate ourselves. It is a shame that we, the public, can't ask you anything about the BMWs, the, the Range Rovers, all of that. It's like you're keeping all of that hidden from the taxpayers, and we pay for those. Even if y'all didn't buy them, like Robert Hunt said, we know y'all leased them. So there's a difference between buying and leasing. However, Tiffany, I just pray that your mama had cancer. I really know that you swindled that money from that cancer foundation. And that was supposed to help the community, myself included. You promised us wigs. You promised us toiletries. You promised us other stuff that would be able to help. A wig. I just spent over $100 this week because I have Villagio, which I found out that I have after I finished my radiation treatment. And guess what? Do you care to help anybody that have cancer or that's actually suffering from cancer and that's actually completed that radiation in this community? But no, all you care about is the money that you're putting into your pockets. We're not even going to talk about the violations that you had at that meeting. And at this meeting, you always want somebody to just be quiet and like you're a dictator. You're not a dictator. You're supposed to be our mayor, but you're not qualified enough to be the mayor. This is why we have to stand outside. This is why you don't have the disabled come in first. You don't care about us. And I'm truly disabled. But that's something that you don't care about. Instead of y'all doing stuff for the, the township and the youth, maybe y'all need a program for disabled. Because understand that just because y'all think that the resident, I mean, the, old, the elderly are the ones that need help, so do the disabled. We sit in the house all day. We struggle. We have depression. We have other things that we go through. Do you care about that? No. Of course not. All you care about is the money that you're trying to take from us residents. We're tired Ma'am, your you time is up. Ma'am, your time is up. Of course thank it you. is. No, thank, thank you. you. All right, next person. Hey, Christian. Mm. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, we back with another lip video. We back at the confessional. Yes, we stay in lip, big dog. Man, shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wizard Deals, who keeps it lit, man. My baby back here keeping it lit, boy. She crunk every morning when she wake up. She go 10 toes down, okay? Uh, make sure y'all hit the links down below in the description. Let me know what y'all think about this comment and I mean this video in the comment section, man. 
We got Tiffany Funeral Wigs Alizations Henyard, okay? Okay. Tiffany Alize Hennessy. Uh is not here to play. She does not have the look of I came here to play on her face. Okay? The golden mic and all. You know what? You know why people get golden mic? Cause she thinks she spits gold. Everything, everything that comes out of her mouth turns to gold. Uh, and it's about to turn into steel bars and orange jumpsuits if she keep playing with she with the way she's doing. Uh, she did not. She was not happy this day because she knew Lori Lightfoot was in the building. A lot of people called out old man Andrew touching such homes, and they called out. Stacy Lacey the Diva. Now the, the man of the hour was Andrew Touch and Such, who showed his face after two full months of not being on the board that he is paid to attend in these meetings. And he's been out, he said he had a, a, a family emergency, a health scare, or whatever he may have had. Now he didn't literally say that. That's an allization. He didn't literally say that, but as sickly as he looking, you would think that's what's wrong with him. But anyway, enough of touch and such. We got your good friend Tiffany Alize Hennessy, Alizations Hennessy, Henier, back on the back at the mic, back on top, back ready to conduct business. I'm tell you what. I don't, I don't, I don't want to tell y'all, I don't want to tell y'all wrong, but she ain't going to jail. She is not going to jail. I'm going to tell you why. Because her lawyers are working for her. Her lawyers are making sure that she is well within her rights. Her lawyers are making sure that she, uh, has taking money well within the guidelines of the the funds okay taxpayers also have a fund of what well, they don't have a fund the taxpayers pay into what would be called a petty cash fund where they use money for petty spending all around yeah and they have to use it or lose it this is not something this is not something that's hidden. It's always been there. They just don't talk about it. So when Tiffany goes on these spending sprees, you can best believe it's well within the rights of uh, well within the laws of what the what the township and the Dalton Village funds can do. So, although she may get a new wig, or she may get a stylist, or she may get a publicist, as long as it's used for situations like this, why do you think Tiffany Alizations moved her meeting to, to Friday? So she can get her new wig done and pressed up and ready, so she can be ready to go out of town on Saturday. She, yep, Tiffany Alizations, Henry was at the Rick Ross car show right after the damn <laughs> right after the meeting in Thornton and she was back and ready for the township on Monday okay Tiffany Alizations Henyard is a is a, a Carmen San Diego of Dalton Village okay you never know where she gonna be but shout out to Tiffany Alizations Hen Hennessy Henyard anyway everyday people let me know what y'all think about these uh commentators with the uh at the, the speakers at the Dalton Village board meeting that happened on Monday um June 3rd Monday June 3rd everyday people like comment subscribe my holiday later peace <laughs>